step two is simply an acknowledgement that, that I lack the power to live and I desperately want to found, find said power. Um, most of us in our active addiction would have to admit we have not been living. We may have been dying a little bit at a time or we may already be dead and just don't know enough to lay down. But, but we need to find a power to live and so that power has got to be every bit as tangible and sensory as the power I've been chasing. So when I think about what would happen if I went and got a fix of heroin or fentanyl or even took a shot of whiskey, that sensory experience, at least initially, the sense of relief, the sense of hope for the first time in a period of time. I need something like that and I need to know that that power goes with me and that it can be improved upon so that I can move away from that which I know. And so it's not a theology. It's an acknowledgement of a human condition that is void of any purpose. And so in the discovery of power in the step two experience, we immediately also discover the purpose. In fact, we see the purpose first and once the purpose is revealed, the power is immediately behind it, pushing us forward. I think people immediately go to bad religious experiences when they hear us talk about a power greater than ourselves, but step two is very intentional. Came to believe, came to believe, that means that whatever I believed coming in is going to evolve or change or completely be replaced. There's a process through which I will believe differently, came to believe. And then it says, in a power greater than ourselves could restore me to sanity. I didn't really cop to insanity in a meaningful way until I started in my step two experience, but I cop to it in my first step experience. My life became unmanageable the unmanageability of my life simply being in spite of my intention, I was acting in contra interest to my well-being and those of people I cared about. So the idea of the step two experience and why people need to start acknowledging that if I were gonna just not pick up no matter what, if I were gonna just not use opiate drugs or drink alcohol anymore, why didn't I do it before I lost my family and my business and my home and my freedom? If I was really going to do that, wouldn't I have done that logically sometime before now? And am I willing to bet my existence going forward on my sudden found ability to do so simply because I encountered a fellowship of people who told me that's what they had done? Because, see, I'm not that kind of believer. If you don't prove it, I don't believe you. I never once took a drink or a hit of anything without knowing exactly how it was going to make me feel. Well, the whole process is about getting honest with yourself, right? I, I came into a world that was pre-existent and only my awareness of it was improved in growing to adulthood. I learned that everything that I had always known was here. I didn't bring anything with me into the world. That's just a human experience. As a baby, everything, we got faith in our parents. I cry, they feed me, you know, or, or whatever. Hopefully that's the relationship we have. As we grow, we realize we've got some self-determination, but it still doesn't really answer the whole completion of stuff. If the sun's not exactly the distance from the earth it is, we fry or we freeze. If the moon's not in exactly the relationship to the sun, the waves don't go and we don't have the same atmosphere. All these things were not things I thought out before joining the world. So if I'm gonna come to believe, all I gotta do is look around. There's already something greater than me, the world in which I came in. Now my world has become tragically small because of my addiction. So what had the power to make my world so small? Did I want my world to be this small? At times I thought I did, but that's silly. So the reality is 
there's already many things in play that prove there's a power greater than me. What am I going to do and how am I self-honestly going to at least look at what my part in all of that is? And so how can I move consciously into something that I don't believe in? 